Greetings. I am Vampire Buddha. Today is October 31st. That's the reason I am dressed as Satan. Now, October 31st, you know what that means. Sweeties! Yes, every year the company is... So we just set up a firework. Like I was saying, every year the companies come up with a whole wide range of specialty Halloween themed sweets just for today in order to drive up profits. And that means I get lots more sweets to try, so let's dig in, shall we? Okay, first thing I got for the trick or treaters, this bowl of Cadbury Heroes. Cost me 45 euros. Half empty. Okay, sure, my, my landlord and I and his friend ate a few of them, but still, there seems to be more in there, so. Yeah, I got the little crunchies, chomp, uh, fudge, uh, decent sized curly whirlies. Just have to sample some merchandise. Mm. Yeah. Works. Yeah, these teeny little bars are good for good for trick or treating. Get lots of little ones. I mean, that's what they call fun size because when you're having fun, you get a lot of small little samples rather than a few big blocks. Hmm. Good. The other thing I got for the trick or treaters is this skull full of lollipops. It's a pretty cool design. In fact, it even doubles the decoration at the end when you're all out of sweets. Now, you can see these quite generic sugar lollipops, but I'm sure they taste fine. This one's red, so it should, should taste vaguely of strawberries. Why does it make them so hard to open? Do not know kids are going to be eating these. Here we go. Not bad. Basic boiled sugar. I mean, it's not the best life pop ever, but it does the job. I mean, kids are really like this. So, yeah, good. Uh, yeah, don't know if the bucket of sweets is worth it. Do get the skull full of life pops. This is worth the money. Okay, I'm gonna suck this for a while longer. I'll Back to you later on with our wa another wide selection of Halloween treats. See you then. Hi. Okay, we are back, and I have a whole lot of other Halloween treats. So let's dig in. See, see what things are like. Okay, first thing we have uh, Halloween mallows. Uh, we're getting here. They don't make these this one easy to open. Okay, so open up, and there's another bag in there. Ridiculous. Okay, the bag's open. This is nuts. Okay, well, that's a mallow. Hmm. Not bad. Okay, well, in a confession to Halloween, it's. I don't know if you can see with the light, but it's actually pink, which I guess is supposed to be like blood, but. Maybe this is like raspberry or strawberry or something. Pretty good, but not really Halloween-y. Still, perhaps this next item would be an improvement. Bloody Mallows and the Mr. Belt Bloody Run. Seriously, guys, that's a sloppy. There, tap this out. Oh, uh, same thing, paid twice for the same thing, and my horns are going bad. Well, maybe there's some awesome different flavoring in here. Hmm? Still, he said, yeah, this has a plastic bag.
No, same. Still, I think the Bloody Mellows might be a slightly better value. But yeah, it's the same. Okay, from Smarties got this little pumpkin dealy filled with mini Smarties. That's quite cool. Let's open up. Huh, that's cool. Look, it's even got the little pumpkin, pumpkin face. I mean, this isn't just a generic thing with Halloween wrapping. This is actually a Halloween sweet. I mean, a lot of people just rewrap the, take the same things for Christmas, Halloween, Easter, different wrapping, and so it's a different thing. Uh, how many Smarties? Oh, Nestle. Nestle went the extra mile and actually put effort into it. So, first impressions. A bit low end. I mean, I'll eat, I'll eat any farm chocolate basically, but not the real material. The Smarties themselves, they're tiny. Yeah, see, they're. Whoa! They're there inside. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, high ratio of candy to chocolate. Actually, not bad. Okay, so on balance, pretty good. Next up from Milky Bar. Ooh, it's a ghost. I suppose Milky Bar would kind of have to be a ghost. I mean, they're all white. What else can they do? I'll open it up. And. Huh. Once again, it's got ghost face, so yeah, once again, this is intended as a Halloween sweet, not to be reused for Christmas. Very good. So, how did this fare? Mmm. I have to say, that is actually very, very good. That's good. That's nice one, Nestle. See, from Mr. Kipling, we have Toffee Terror Worlds. Yeah. I have a feeling I'm in for disappointment. Shortcake Worlds filled with toffee flavored buttercream and toffee sauce. Screw it. Yes, I'm only, uh, I've become much less horny now. I'm only half as horny as I was. Okay, so, there it is. Yeah, no unusual shapes, just a spiral. It doesn't look remotely Halloween-y. Hmm. Tastes pretty good, but yeah. Generic snack in a Halloween box. I'll see Mr. Kipling. Nessie puts the effort into these things, so the least you could do is try. Yep. I mean, use a mold or put a little spiderweb pattern on it. Something. Something to make it stand out from the stuff we sell the rest of the year. Okay, ooh, here's one. Coffin Chaos, I have no idea what's in here. Um, stuff is apparently fruit flavored. Sir E. Alkila. Sir E. Alkila? Dunno. Oh well. Uh, cut up the tape. The other tape. And it's got a 
more tape. Is that, oh, okay. That's pretty cool. It's got various thing, various candies in there. I like the idea. Okay, well, let's try these ones first. These little shapes. Candy that is in candy you suck, not candy that does suck. I mean, candy that does suck sucks. I'm gonna be here for a little while. I'm gonna cut off and start and come back a little in a few minutes. Okay, so yeah, I got my horns back. Yep, had some of the candy. It's not bad. Figure be. Don't my feet are very young, children, because, you know, choke, but me for like. Seven, eight year olds could work. Okay, so just in the coffin, we've got marshmallows, lollipops, and what looks like a gobstopper. So, try the marshmallow first. It smells a bit odd. It's bright, vibrant colors. Hmm. Weird texture, but yeah, more solid than I like marshmallows to be, but it tastes pretty good. How about the lollipop? Ugh. I don't know if that's all stuff possible to open. Ugh. This is annoying. No, oh, it's melting already. Okay, so here it is, all unwrapped. Hmm. Not that great, there's not much real flavor off it. Nah, it's a pretty bad one. It's one that has lots of residue on the outside, I don't know. Great. Okay, so, let's sample the Gobstopper. Smooth. Hmm. Got to take a while before I start tasting anything. It's bloody hard. Hmm. Getting rough. Hmm. Hmm. Subtle flavor, but. Yeah, gobstoppers are a long-running thing, and I've only got a few hours before I have to go to bed because I have work in the morning. So, yep, not bad for a gobstopper, but have to leave it and move on to the rest of the stuff I want to review. Uh, okay, another one from Mr. Kipling. Six shock and orange slices. Uh, six spooky orange-flavored cake slices. Oozing with raspberry red filling and topped with dark chalk chunks. Individually wrapped for a treat every time. Well, the colors are Halloween y, so these ones are individually wrapped, ideal for trick or treating. This actually does look like something that was, that was intended for Halloween. How does it, how does it even fare? Okay, well that's handy. Get them out in the bitchy so you don't have to eat them all on the same day. Yeah, it's kind of like the Mr. Kipling almond slices, except different recipe. Smells nice. Mmm. That is one of the better orange flavored things I have. Recommended. These are actually good.
Okay, next up from middle we have Halloween Ghost Faces. Okay, so here's one got a nice balance between cute and scary. Now can I open him up? And it's the Death Star. Blow up all around. Okay, so yeah, features ball. You just know the star and tomorrow they're gonna start selling these with like a Santa or Ranger faces Christmas decorations, but still, might not be too bad. Not great, and you know, I thought the Germans knew chocolate. Well, because the Simpsons lied to me. What else we got? Cadbury Mini Admiral Animals Halloweenies. So, something of a special edition of Mini Animals with a uh, Halloween thing. Got like bats, spiders, frogs, cats. Okay, that's good. Get a bunch of little packets with uh, different animal on them. Halloweenies facts. Snakes smell with their tongue. See? It's educational. Okay, so... Yeah, regular Halloweenie. Got the little mouse biscuit with chocolate on the back. Nice texture, good flavor, and good Halloween design. Yeah, these are good. Nice one, Capri. Plus one for effort. We then have Bone Mallow, fresh from room 278. Whatever room 278 is a reference to. I'll open them up and okay. Got marshmallows that look like they're actually bits of bones because it's got a little marrow in there. Hmm. Okay, marshmallow shots with gelatin. Interesting idea. And works. Yeah, I like these. Get them. Murder mo Oh, wait a second. Okay. Yeah, these things both Yeah, this... Yeah, the bone mallow and the... Oh, the bone marrow... Wait, this bone marrow. Yeah, the bone mallow and the coffin chaos books came from... Dunn's... From a line called Murder Motel. Ah, and the coffin chaos is room 82, so... Yeah, it's going for like a scene there and... Wait, fat free? Well, of course, because it's... Made entirely with sugar. And also from Murder Motel, fresh in room 15, we have a uh, voodoo beads. Yes, those candy necklaces I used to eat as a kid. And why do people make the packages so impossible to open? Okay, individual wraps and turn for trick or treaters. Basic candy necklace. But you've got a nice Halloween decoration at the end. That's good. Mmm, stylish. That's with the candy itself. Chalky, not terrible, but I've had better. Still, it won't break any the teeth of any little child who decides to bite instead of sucking it. From 
super valued there are peanuts in shell. Yeah, don't know why Halloween got so associated with peanuts, but hey, peanuts are awesome. Unless you get them outside the shell. For some reason, whatever they do with them makes them suck. But these ones are inside the shell, so are completely fresh. So here's a peanut. open. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Oh. Peanuts are peanuts. You know what you're getting. They're good peanuts. I like them. Pretty cheap, so they do in a pinch. And then there is from the National Confectionery Company. Spooky treats. Do we pop in for supper tonight, my theory? Asks the witch. Oh, it's a joke. Witch says, Will you pop in for supper tonight, my theory? And the skeleton says, Sorry, I have no stomach for it. Even when I was five, I thought those puns were pathetic. So on the inside, okay, yeah, various Halloween shapes. We've got a yeah, there's a gravestone, a pair of vampire fangs, a witch. So yeah, likewise, the natural confectionery company goes for our Halloween, goes for our Halloween specials. It's a gummy sweet. Good basic gummy sweets. Mm, quite tasty. Nice texture. Not too soft, not too chewy, just right. No, I don't like the way the natural confectionery company advertises their markets itself. Because I have issues with the word natural. But they, I have to admit they make a good product. ones tell to do sour treats pumpkin says knock knock ghost says who's there and the ghost looks like a you know a boo from Super Mario Brothers oh boy. okay so yeah same kind of thing a little ghost are, um, what's that, like a goblin? Oh, and of course, the fangs. It's a little hard to make out details with all the sugar on these. Mmm, that's sour. Ooh, that's good. My teeth are gonna kill me. Very sour. That's one for the that's one for the teenagers. Love that. Um. See, from our friends in Japan, we have Haribo Horror Mix. So let's see what's in this one. Everyone is also doing genuine Halloween themed sweets. Yeah, a lot of people are really getting on the act this year. Like I said, all too often Halloween sweets are just normal sweets in different packaging, but yeah, okay, this is a witch. Everyone's a bit chewier than the Natural Confectionery Company. Enjoyable though. This is. Uh, can't we really see, but I think it's supposed to be a skeleton. See, it doesn't have the white backing. Also, not bad. Okay, 
see what we got. Got the hull. Yeah, oh. Has some walnuts, but unfortunately I don't have a nutcracker, so can't sample those yet. There are spooky ghosts. Okay, so we've got a few different jelly things. Okay, well, let's try one of the completely white ghosts. I don't know why sweet manufacturers make those things taste like milk. I mean, milk is healthy. Doesn't go well with all the sugar. Edible, but not great. Still, it's a different one. Nice jelly. Yeah, that's much better. Down at the bottom, there is the little black or purple, I guess, ghost. So please be blackberry, not licorice. I think the black orange, but I'm not certain. Yeah, don't bother with horrible spooky ghosts there. More from Murder Motel we have Cyclops Eyeballs. Murder, from Murder Motel really went well up this year. Okay, so got hmm. Okay, so we got various eyes in different colors. That's an interesting idea. Sweet in there. Oh, love texture. Good flavor. Ooh. Highly recommend it. Mm. Body parts. Body parts. Flesh Moon 13. So I'm just around there, just body parts. Okay, so got bits of fingers and ear. Huh. Cyclops eye. Let's try a finger. Smarty scared around. Okay, so here's a finger. Feels good. Hmm. Bit more resistance in the eye. Tastes pretty good.
Okay, last thing on the menu. Murder Motel, Fresh Room 19, Shrunken Skull Lollipops. Again, they're white, so I hope they don't taste too much like milk. So I have to say, Murder Motel has absolutely gone the extra mile. I mean, if you're if you're ever looking for stuff for trick or treating, they're a good bet. So there it is. It smells like milk. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh. Fortunately, we end on downer note. The skull lollipops are not particularly nice. Still, the other stuff's good. Good haul this year. Yeah. Almost all the sweet companies have really made an effort this year to actually have genuine, specific Halloween themed sweets. For which I'm happy. So, that was pretty good. Didn't get to go trick or treating, but. Eh, a couple of kids did come to my house, which was pretty unusual. So, till then, hope you all had a happy Halloween, and I will maybe do this again next year.